I have noticed that a lot of students tend to use copyrighted material in their discussion board posts. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix that problem. So if we go to Google and we type in nurse and we go to images, we're going to see a lot of beautiful images. The problem is that you might not actually be allowed to use these images if they are copyrighted. So I'm going to go to tools. Under usage rights, you can pick what you want to use. Um, for your purposes, you could go with labeled for non-commercial reuse or labeled for reuse, doesn't really matter. And then it's going to show you ones that are tagged inside of Google as ones that you're allowed to reuse. The problem is you really have to double, triple check and know what licenses mean in order to use a Google image search because sometimes people don't label things properly. Um, this one here says that it is from Nurse Free Stock Photo. So what I would have to do is I'd have to click and I'd have to go to this website. This one here happens to be good to use because it's in the public domain, but you do have to go to the website and check that it is in the public domain. Let's look at this one here. I'm seeing some information about the image, but I'm not seeing clear and quick to find information that tells me whether or not I can use the image. What I'm looking for is a license. So I'm going to assume that that one might be an example of one that's mislabeled. One of my favorite websites to visit for pictures when I'm creating materials is Pixabay. All the images on this website are in the public domain, which means that they don't require a citation. I am asking my students to cite images whether they're in the public domain or not, though. So if I go here and I type in nurse, I see images that have been uploaded to this website. And if I click on any one of them over here, it'll say free for commercial use, no attribution required. That's the kind of information that I'm looking for. So you can download this one. They like that you create an account and you can use it any way that you want. Uh, if you're using it for a class, again, I do want you to cite it, but technically you wouldn't have to cite it if you were using it uh, to create materials for clients. This is usually my first stop, Pixabay. My second stop will sometimes be Unsplash. These pictures are usually a little bit better in terms of their artistic elements, but I often have a hard time finding what I'm looking for here, and it might be just because of the kinds of stuff I look for. So let's look for nurse here. Ah, here we go. Some pictures of nurses. So on this page, once we go in, there's a button here to download the image in whatever size you want. Once you download the image, it gives you the citation right here, which is really nice. When you first get to Unsplash, if you click on freely usable images, it gives you the information about the license. So as you see here, they can be used for free and it tells you what you can use them for. A third website that I really like as well is The Noun Project. Um, again, these ones are all free and if I type in nurse, all you have to do is click on get this icon and in this case, it gives you um, the information about how you can use it when it offers you the option of paying for it or not. For the purposes of school, you do not need to pay for anything. So you can do a basic download. And here where it says you must attribute the creator of this icon as per the license requirements, it just means that you have to cite them. So you can go ahead and click on continue and it'll give you the text right there that you need to cite it. If you wanna learn more about the license, you just click on learn more. You'll notice this Creative Commons license is indicated here. When you go to the Creative Commons website, they have a page that tells you all about the different license options that they have. If you scroll down, it explains how the licenses work and all that stuff. These are the kinds of things that you might see. So CC BY basically means that you're free to use it as long as you cite the original person that created the image. CC by SA is share alike. So again, you have to give them credit, but you also have to share it. CC by ND, no derivatives, means that you're not allowed to change the image at all. So with these other images, you're allowed to do edits, maybe cut the nurse out and put it in a different image. With a no derivative one, you wouldn't be able to do that. And non-commercial means that you can't use it for commercial purposes. For school, you're not using any of this stuff for commercial purposes. And I would imagine as a nurse, when you're making stuff for your clients, you're also not um, using it for commercial purposes. 
And then you can see different combinations of those things. If you're looking for more information about how Creative Commons licenses work, feel free to visit any of the links in the description. The Creative Commons website also has this search. So you can go to their website and you can search for nurse and you can see different images and it'll tell you the licenses when you hover over it. So let's just click on this image. If we go in there too, it gives a definition of what the licenses mean. They also have a browser extension that you can use. I have it installed on my computer, but I haven't used it very much um, because I find that I have a lot better luck using Pixabay and Unsplash. I usually don't need to go to these other websites to find the images that I'm looking for. I'm hoping that this was helpful and that you're able to use images in your projects and in your discussion boards that do not breach copyright. Please let me know if you require any additional information. Mm -hmm.